I mean, Ultimate Muscle was actually a pretty awesome show back in its day. And guess what? Today, I'm going to give you a full recap of the series. Before we get into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's get started. Kinikuma Nisei, which is more widely known as Ultimate Muscle, isn't just a regular story. It revolves around a universe where wrestling isn't just a sport, it's practically a way of life. The entire planet is home to people where all they do is live and breathe wrestling. And that's pretty much the entire backdrop of her story. Now meet our main guy, Mentaro Kinaku, also known as Kid Muscle. He's not your typical hero, in fact, he's a bit of a scaredy cat. But when push comes to shove, he's your guy. And this is crucial in a world where wrestling is serious business. Mentaro is training at the Hercules Factory, a place where the future wrestling stars hone their skills. But Mantaro's journey isn't a solo one. He's got a quirky bunch of friends. Terry the Kid, a typical Texan and American through and through, Sayo Chen, a walrus man who brings a whole new meaning to tough skin, and Gazelle Man, who, despite often being the underdog, is a human like Gazelle with a fighting spirit. Now, their adventures are divided into arcs. First, they battle to graduate from Hercules Factory. Then they take on the evil DMP. After that, they face off against new Hercules Factory graduates and finally, they participate in the Chojin Tournament, where the world's best wrestlers clash in epic battles. But more on that later. There are two manga series telling the story. One is a hit in Japan's weekly Shonen Playboy and is available in the US in volumes. Another, with a different storyline, appears in V-Jump in Japan. Now, here's where it gets interesting for American fans. Four kids dubbed it as Ultimate Muscle, and it's quite a spectacle. They kept the blood, the innuendo, and even the fart jokes. This dub is actually considered one of four kids' best, believe it or not. It captures the show's zany essence perfectly with just the right mix of original and added humor. It's one of those rare cases where the dub is actually as good, if not better, than the original. And that's saying something. Alright, let's start with Season 1. We are first introduced to the Muscle League a group of larger-than-life wrestlers, not just athletes, but superheroes, tasked with a noble mission of protecting Earth and numerous other worlds from the clutches of evil villains. This isn't just any wrestling league. It's the Intergalactic Wrestling Federation, where our heroes showcase their awe-inspiring skills. Then out of nowhere, an emergency broadcast from the IWF shatters the peace. Suddenly, a colossal fist, swift as lightning, crashes down upon Earth. It's a moment of truth, revealing a terrifying force, the DMP, destruction, mayhem, and panic. This notorious faction of galactic evildoers begins wrecking havoc, striking fear into the hearts of Earth's inhabitants. But hope isn't lost, for Earth has its guardians, the legendary Muscle League champions. However, these once great heroes are past their prime. After decades of peace, they've lost their edge, and in a humiliating defeat, they fall to the DMP. Then, enter our main character, Kid Muscle, the reluctant hero of our story. Kid is the offspring of King Muscle, a legendary wrestler and a beacon of strength. Despite his father's teachings, Kid has no interest in wrestling. He's the opposite of a hero, a coward more interested in girls and food than fighting. Kid's life takes a dramatic turn when destiny calls, learning that Earth is in grave danger. He's seen as the last hope against the supervillains, a path he desperately tries to avoid. But fate has other plans. Kid finds himself on a spaceship headed for Earth, where his journey truly begins. Crash landing in a park in Japan, Kid encounters Meat, a wise figure who once managed Kid's father. Meat becomes a mentor and a father figure, offering Kid the strategy, motivation, and wisdom he desperately needs. The story also features Roxanne, a love interest with a strong personality and a character who remains oblivious to Kid's affections. Then there's Kevin Mask, Kid's rival, and other young wrestlers like Terry the Kid and Dick Dick Van Dick, each with their unique backstory and personality. Through early episodes, we see friendships and rivalries develop. Characters like Terry evolve from rivals to close friends, providing Kid with much-needed support as he grapples with his fears and grows stronger. But the threat of the DMP looms large, constantly challenging Kid and his companions at every opportunity. So, in a turn of events, Kid Muscle finds himself at the Hercules Factory, a training academy for heroes. Then, Kid Muscle, 
our main guy, steps into the titanium ring for a high-stakes match against the formidable Boa Conda. That's just the beginning of his journey in Episode 2. As Kid Muscle grapples with his new responsibilities and powers, he faces a series of challenging opponents. His journey takes him through memorable battles against the likes of Ramen Man and Buffalo Man, alongside fellow wrestlers Terry Kenyon and Samu. The emotional climax reaches a peak when Kid Muscle confronts his own father, King Muscle, in a battle that tests his resolve and strength. Then, when we move on to the DMP arc, which introduces a new threat with Kid Muscle clashing against the DMP wrestlers, his first significant challenge is Dial Balical, which pushes Kid Muscle to his limits with a series of electrical attacks. This battle is followed by encounters with various formidable opponents, like Max Man or Pumpinator, Shaka Dial, and the tyrannical Sunshine. After this, the intensity escalates in the HF first year replacement matches arc. The story unfolds with tag matches between Hercules Factory students, including a steel cage match where Terry the Kid faces the dinosaur-like Tyrannoclaw, with Kid Muscle as the referee. The arc culminates with Kid Muscle and his allies facing off against a series of powerful foes, each more challenging than the last. The story then shifts to the Kajiba Nokusa Dakara Challenge arc, where Kid Muscle is summoned to Muscle Planet to test his ultimate muscle power. He faces the gruesome threesome in a series of intense matches. Each battle tests Kid Muscle's resolve, pushing him to develop new strategies and techniques to overcome his adversaries. Then the Chojin Olympics arc starts, where we see Kid Muscle and other Muscle League fighters returning to their home countries to compete for a position in the prestigious Chojin Crown Tournament. Kid Muscle's journey through the tournament is fraught with challenges, including a three-legged race and various tests. The story reaches its climax in the Poison Six Pack arc, a notorious group of evil Chojin, aka the Poison Six Pack, who are disguised as evil Kid Muscle clones, crash the tournament and kidnap Rinko, Kiko, and Tamaki, setting the stage for some high-stakes tag team matches near Mount Fuji. The girls become hostages, held in a surreal floating jester head. The first match sees Kid, a central figure in these confrontations, stepping up to assist his teammate Terry the Kid. In a bizarre yet effective move, Kid uses feces to snap Kid out of Dazzle's hypnotic giant eye trance. Despite their efforts though, Kid's attempt to save the falling Tamaki falls short as he misses catching her. In the next match, Kid showcases his quick wit by signaling Puri Puri Man's weakness. Despite his brave attempts to save Saiyuchin's family, he almost drowns, highlighting the dangers they face. The stakes rise when Kid teams up with Kevin Mask against the Poison Six Pack. After Kevin defeats the Cyborg and exits, Kid faces Baron Maximilian alone. However, guided by Meat, Kid captures the Baron, forcing him into a stronger form. The fight escalates and Maximilian overpowers Kid until Saguru Kinaku intervenes, inspiring Kid with thoughts of Rinko, his potential future wife. Kid, seemingly defeated, miraculously fights back in sleep fighting mode countering Maximilian's moves instinctively. This leads to his victory over Maximilian with the Muscle Millennium move. But now the triumph turns dramatic when an exploding jester head causes Rinku to fall over Mount Fuji's edge. In a bizarre rescue, Kid uses a giant fart to save her. The arc ends with Kid trying to kiss Rinku, only to end up with Nakano. After the Poison Six Pack are defeated, the story resumes with the Muscle League engaged in intense training at Kid Muscle's place all curious about when the Chojin Crown Tournament will resume. However, Kid Muscle is found, predictably, fast asleep. Suddenly, their session is interrupted by Kevin Mask, who throws some sharp insults their way. This doesn't sit well with Jaeger, and soon he and Kevin clash in the ring. Just as the tension peaks, Kid Muscle wakes up and defuses the fight. In a surprising twist, a helicopter arrives carrying a stunning red-headed woman, who asks Kid Muscle for directions to the arena. Kid, completely smitten and a bit clueless, ends up giving her the wrong directions. Moving to the tournament, we see two intense matches. In the black arena, it's Photopat versus Destruction. Meanwhile, in the red arena, Ricardo the Bomber from Brazil faces off against Sly Scraper, coached by Terry Kenyon. Sly Scraper initially dominates with his body scraper move, but Ricardo, showing remarkable agility, dodges and shares a poignant memory with Terry about a past rescue. This fuels Ricardo's comeback, trapping Slyscraper in a full Nelson 
and executing a move that sends Shockwaves through Slyscraper, clinching Ricardo's victory. Next, Kid Muscle prepares for an unconventional battle against Hollywood Bowl, a directing toilet with a vengeful agenda, determined to use its odorous tactics to lure Kid Muscle into a disadvantageous position. Now, Kid Muscle faces a tough time against the Hollywood Bowl. However, help arrives unexpectedly when Kid's sumo racing friend, Satoshi, brings him a revitalizing snack. Kid ingeniously uses his bowl to counter Hollywood Bowl's tactics, turning the match on its head. In the Black Division, it's Kevin Mass' turn to shine against Chichimi Man, the Korean Dragon. However, Kevin is nowhere to be found initially, having fainted in the sauna after intense training. Despite this setback, Kevin makes a miraculous recovery mid-match, channeling a mysterious, powerful light from within, raising the stakes of his battle with Chichimi Man. On the other hand, after defeating Hollywood Bowl, Kid Muscle faces Barrier Free Man, a unique wrestler who's half man, half senior citizen, fighting for a senior-friendly society. Barrier Free Man, with the crowd's support, initially overpowers Kid Muscle. However, Kid Muscle discovers that only his waist is mobile, and cleverly uses it to gain the upper hand. Roxanne and friends assist Barrier Free Man, intensifying Kid Muscle's determination to win. As the match progresses, Barrier Free Man, controlled by the old man within, gains the upper hand. However, the crowd's allegiance shifts towards Kid Muscle when they realize the old man's true motives. In another Black Division match, Destruction faces off against Comrade Turbinsky. Destruction initially dominates, but Turbinsky's transformation into a jet adds an unexpected layer to the match. Despite Destruction's efforts to detect Turbinsky using radar, the jet proves to be a formidable and elusive opponent. Next up, we see Kevin Mask barely hanging on against the relentless assault of blocks. Just when it seems Kevin is down for the count, he summons an incredible burst of strength and turns the tables. But the fight takes a wild turn as Block morphs into a giant slide, hurling his head at Kevin like a cannonball. Kevin, undeterred, fights back dominating the match until Blocks, in a desperate move, deconstructs and starts to entrap Kevin within himself. Kevin, now calling himself the new Kevin Mask, laughs in the face of danger. He not only escapes, but also shatters Blocks. However, Blocks, ever resilient, rebuilds himself into a Kevin Mask clone. This battle sees Kevin confronting and defeating this clone, revealing a long-buried side of himself, his darker persona, the DMP. In a stunning finish, Kevin thwarts Block's final attempt at victory, defeating him and advancing to the semifinals. Meanwhile, Kid Muscle searches frantically for Roxanne, only to find that she's not in Jaeger's changing room. Jaeger, eager for their upcoming match, awaits his showdown with Ricardo. This battle, with Jaeger and Ricardo, escalates quickly. Ricardo dominates, but Jaeger unleashes his powerful red reign of pain. Despite Brocken Jr.'s warnings, Jaeger's overconfidence leads to a disastrous turn when Ricardo traps him and severely injures him with his Brazilian nutcracker move, causing an uproar among the audience. The next day, as the Choden prepared for their next battles, we see them in intense training. Kid Muscle, however, chooses a different kind of preparation, indulging in a hearty meal. The stage is then set for a chilling match between Kid Muscle and Ricardo, in a ring where a touch to the giant X in the center means a jolt of 10,000 volts. Ricardo, showing a surprising restraint, prevents Kid Muscle from hitting the deadly Electrolix. But the match takes a dark turn as Ricardo's teammates intervene, causing Ricardo to inadvertently strike the Electrolix. In this moment of vulnerability, Ricardo's inner conflict surfaces, torn between his Muscle League self and his darker DMP identity. The battle intensifies and Ricardo, succumbing to his darker side, becomes the Lord of Darkness, launching a brutal attack on Kid Muscle. Despite suffering multiple shocks from the Electrolix, Kid Muscle, bolstered by the support of Jaeger and Roxanne, refuses to give in. Roxanne's intervention, using the belt that connected her and Jaeger, miraculously heals Kid's injured ankle. Reinvigorated, Kid Muscle rallies, displaying incredible resilience and heart in the face of Ricardo's relentless onslaught. In the final showdown, Kid Muscle, drawing strength from the power of friendship and the support of his allies, overcomes the odds. With a burst of energy, he activates the ultimate muscle, delivering a decisive blow to Ricardo, along with the Electrolix with the Muscle Millennium. We then move on to the semi-final match between Kevin Mask and Comrade Turbinsky, set in a unique five-sided ring suspended stories in the air. Kevin Mask initially dominates with his powerful attacks, but Comrade Turbinsky isn't down for the count yet. 
he reveals a secret weapon that changes the game. Now, despite being on the receiving end of a brutal assault, Kevin's resilience shines through. He narrowly escapes defeat, clinging to the mat with his foot. This critical moment rekindles the trust between Kevin Mask and Lord Flash, propelling Kevin into a fierce comeback. The aftermath of the match sees Meat and Turbinski escorted out by paramedics while the crowd applauds Meat's bravery. Meanwhile, Kid Muscle, now set to face Kevin in the final, is overwhelmed with fear and resorts to hiding. He accidentally stumbles upon a conversation revealing his father's past fears, mirroring his own current state. As the finals are about to start, Kevin Mask and Kid Muscle prepare for the showdown of their lives. In the meantime, an exhibition match featuring wrestling legends sets the stage, with King Muscle and Terry Man securing a victory. This moment of triumph is paralleled by a touching gesture from Kid's father, who passes on his old battle uniform to his son. Then the final match commences. Kid Muscle faces off against a seemingly weakened Kevin Mask, but Kid's coach advises caution. The match starts with a standoff, but as Kevin launches an attack, Kid follows his coach's advice and evades, drawing the outrage of the audience for his perceived cowardice. But the tension escalates. Kevin Mask is infuriated by the damage to his mask, and Kid Muscle's relentless assault only fuels his anger. Despite his efforts, Kid's signature moves are effortlessly countered by Kevin, leaving Meat watching from the hospital in a state of anxiety. Now, Kid Muscle unleashes his ultimate move, the Muscle Millennium. But Kevin Mask's maelstrom power turns the tide, reversing the attack. Despite Kid's despair, encouragement from Roxanne and his friends reignites his fighting spirit, leading to a powerful comeback. The climax unfolds in the final episode. Kid Muscle is caught in Kevin Mask's iron grip, and it looks like he's in big trouble. The judges are hinting that Kevin's move is unbeatable. Then, Kevin hits Kid Muscle with his signature move, the Big Ben Edge. Kevin grabs Kid's right wrist with his right hand and the left with his left, then twists Kid's arms around each other until they're back in their original positions. Suddenly, Kevin uncrosses his arms, releasing the hold and catapulting Kid into the air, spinning wildly. But Kevin isn't done yet. He leaps up, grabs Kid's arms, hooks his other arm around Kid's thigh, wraps his legs around Kid's head and arm, and they both come crashing towards the ground. But here's where things change. Kid Muscle, inspired by his friend's encouragement, dislocates his shoulder to escape Kevin's hold. He quickly snaps his arm back into place and launches his own finishing move, the Kinniku Buster. Kevin's ready for it though, so Kid switches things up and unleashes a new version of his move, which he calls Muscle Gravity, and that seals the deal. The judges declare Kid Muscle the new Chojin Crown Champion. This victory is huge because it ends the long-standing feud between their families, lifting the curse from Kevin's family. You know, in the manga, the story takes a totally different turn where Kevin actually wins the match. But honestly, I think the ending we got was pretty solid as well. And there you have it, folks. Hit that like button if you had as much fun as I did. And dive into the next video for more mind-blowing content.